guys, Zombie Denise here, and uh, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I just got back from seeing Snow White and the Huntsman, and uh, decided let's do a movie review, because uh, lots of people are blowing up my phone here, trying to figure out how, you know, how I like the movie. And, um, it was, you know, it was a really good movie. There's parts of it that I didn't like, but, you know... It was relatively enjoyable. Uh, visually, this movie is stunning. Uh, the costumes are amazing. All the, you know, CG shit that they did was cool. You see this troll. I mean, you probably see it from the commercial. They've got this troll, and he just looks really cool. Um, with all the crazy teeth and stuff, and they got this turtle. It's all, like, it's, you know, mossy and stuff like that. Or they have a snake that had, like, moss all up in its head and stuff like that. So... I mean, visually, this movie is amazing. Uh, the music mostly fits to what's going on. Um, I thought a couple of spots it was kind of loud and other parts was really low, but mostly it, it kind of flowed with it and everything. But um, K Kristen Stewart can act. Let's just be honest here. She cannot act. She, you know, she gets picked for these roles that have no speaking parts, really. Um, that's, uh, this movie, she really did not speak at all during this movie. Um, it was mostly, I'm going to give you the look. See my look? And then you know what was going on. Yeah! Uh, really. <laughs> She's got, like, one scene where she had, to, like, they probably, they probably took them, like, a million cuts to make this freaking scene. Because she has to just muster this stuff up and have everybody rise up and let's go fight the evil queen and da-da-da, you know. Other than that, she's very, she's meek. She's this meek little girl. And she just does look. Oh, poor, woe is me, I'm crying, oh, snows. You know, really, uh, she can't act. But despite that, um, you know, Charlize Theron, uh, amazing. She did, she's always amazing, you know. Uh, the way that, you know, because she, she gets old and then she gets, you know, pretty again and then old again and pretty again and... You know, I mean, just her range throughout the whole movie was amazing. Um, I like that. Um, Bob Hoskins is in the movie. And uh, every time I see him, I think Mario Brothers, which I know he totally hated that role. And he's been in a ton of other things. You know, like he was Smee and Hook and, uh, you know, he was in, you know, Who Framed Rod Rabbit. And, you know, a ton of these movies, you know, and I totally love him. But every time I see him, I think Mario Brothers, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Which was a horrible movie, but such a, you know, movie from my, my youth, so I love it. But, um, you know, um, another thing I didn't like about the movie is, like, everybody has a name but the Huntsman. He's just the Huntsman. And, uh, you know, all the other people, they had names, but I don't know what they are. You know, um, all of the, the Seven Dwarves had names, but they were, you know, they were different. And, uh, I mean, I only know one. It was Gus. Poor Gus. That, that was it. And, you know, I don't know. This movie was interesting because it was, uh, it, it really, it was a weird take on Snow White. Um, you know, you have the classic Snow White story, but then they added, like, there's scenes from, like, Legend and Conan the Barbarian and uh, Conan the Destroyer, actually, not the Barbarian, but Conan the Destroyer. Um, you know, there was a little bit of Princess Bride in there, you know, it was just, uh, a little bit of, like, Labyrinth, you know, so, I mean, it was, uh, there's all these other movies in here, you know, uh, Excalibur, you know, it was definitely more of a medieval take on Snow White with, uh, you know, these people rising up an evil queen and, you know, there's, uh, there's a little bit of religion in it, you know, a little, uh, uh, you know, Lord's Prayer and stuff in there. And then, um, there's this one scene where, you know, they, they've got like an evil forest and it was totally like the forest from, uh, a pr Princess Bride, you know? down with, you know, crazy stuff that's going on and everything, and, you know, she's tripping balls on freaking mushrooms, and, you know, all this creepy shit that's in there, and, you know, he's, the huntsman's, you know, taking her through the, the forest, you know, and, uh, it was totally Princess Bride, and then there's this other, um, 
scene where it's like the enchanted magical force is totally legend. Totally, you know, and then she's, you know, going along and, and instead of meeting a magical unicorn, she meets like this stag with tree branches for horns and all over the crazy place. But, um, you know, the, the scenes are amazing looking, you know, uh, the movie was pretty long. Um, it, it dragged in some parts, but I was kind of really like happy with that it was at least two hours because I'm tired of paying for, you know, an hour and a half movie. I really am. I, I want some substance in there. You know, it doesn't need to be forced, but some substance, something, you know. So, um, you know, I guess, I, you know, I liked the movie. It was just, you know, there was there was something missing. There was something totally missing in this movie. And I just, I, you know, they were trying to make this kind of three-way love connection triangle thing. And then just kind of, oh, and then, you know, just kind of move that out of the side. Whatever, you know, because the one dude... Is her, you know, childhood friend who's totally in love, and, um, people keep texting me. Um, so, you know, totally in love with her, and totally thinks she's dead this entire time, but obviously he's held this, you know, torch, and then there's the huntsman who kind of comes in, and, you know, he's totally depressive over, you know, he lost his wife, and so he's like the town drunkard. Who knows the, the evil forest? Because I guess he gets drunk and goes through the forest. I'm not really sure how that connected. But, um, you know, but he kind of likes her too, you know. And didn't, helping her out. Doesn't know who the hell she is, you know. And um, I don't know. There's this other, you know, they, they go to this village in there. And all the women have these scars on their faces to make themselves ugly. So the queen won't, like, steal their beauty. And um, that was cool. Um the costumes that they wore. All the costumes in this thing were amazing. There's like a ton of outfits that I'm like, oh, totally, I want that. That is amazing looking. That's awesome. So um, I, I'd say go see it, you know. Tell me what you guys think. Um, do you like Kristen Stewart as an actress? Do you not? Um, you know, uh, I think, you know, like we were, Leslie and I were talking about this, how, the younger generation that, you know, are pretty much like the Twilight fans and stuff aren't going to get the connections that we did from watching the movie, you know, where you, you're you kind of like, oh, and they got this scene from kind of here, and this is a total correlation with this scene or this scene from all these different movies. They're not going to get this because who the hell's seen Excalibur or, you know, Conan the Destroyer or even Princess Bride or, you know, Legend, they, you know, they, they know Tom Cruise is the, the crazy dude, you know. I don't even know if they even know Tom Cruise from, you know, crazy. I flipped out on Oprah's couch and, you know, he was in all these other movies and stuff like that. So, I don't know, you know. So, tell me what you guys think uh, about the movie and, uh, you know, leave a comment or something. We can discuss. We can discuss because maybe you really liked it. I really liked it, but like I said, there was parts that were kind of lacking. I kind of, I wanted something more. I don't like movies that just kind of end I mean, I guess that it, you know, could lead to a sequel, although sequel to Snow White, really? Uh, I don't know about that, but, um, you know, it's leading to something, so, but I, I kind of like closure, I think it's like to be kind of wrapped up, I don't like loose ends, it's, it's kind of like you threw something in there and then now we will, forget about that, <laughs> that's over here, you know, not, not kind of cool, but anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think, and, um, uh, talk to you all later. Bye!